country's largest bank is going to be uh, reporting its numbers tomorrow. We're talking about State Bank of India. What to expect from the all-important asset quality front? Let's get in Ekta Batra. Well, you know, for State Bank of India, remember that last quarter they had reported slippages which were at around 30,000 odd crores. And uh, they had made a recognition, a prudent recognition of around 20,000 odd crores in terms of stressed assets last quarter. So a lot of the recognition had taken place up front according to analysts. But they had pointed out that there would be a watch list uh, which they're working with of around 31,000 odd crores over the next 12 months and out of which 70% in a worst case scenario could slip. So that comes out to around 5,486 odd crores in terms of slippages coming in only from the watch list. So the street is working with a figure cumulatively of around 10 to 11,000 odd crores in terms of slippages this quarter and which they would accept happily in terms of State Bank of India. But remember that uh, commentary with regards to the watch list, etc. will be the most important and most market moving for State Bank of India. Separately, in terms of the NII, we're expecting a growth of around 5.5% again in single digits and a profit decline of around 30% this quarter. It has been declining for the past three consecutive quarters if you include this quarter as well. But uh, the decline is expected to be at a lower pace this time around. So overall, watch list figure, 31,000 odd crores, 70% is the worst case scenario for the next 12 months. Ekta, just hang in there. We want to talk to you about Sun Pharma as well. But Prakash, first on State Bank of India and the context being, I mean, today what we saw on BOB. Yeah. Now, here's a stock, SBI, which has rallied a good 50% from the lows of the year, the 52-week lows. Yes, yes. So therefore, I mean, would you say the margin for error is very limited here? Yes, so, you know, a lot of expectations, again, riding on this. But unlike BOB, you know, I would just like to differentiate. SBI has been much uh, more ahead of BOB in terms of the cleanup process. Mm -hmm. And uh, they started provisioning, they started ample provisioning way before BOB came and alerted the market and made us believe that everything was done with and, and we still continue to see those surprises, unpleasant ones. So if uh, what happened to PN, we look at that, numbers were bad, but they were still digestible. The street was willing to accept saying, okay, slippages will happen, profits are down. But if it's within tolerance levels, it's fine. So the key thing, as Ekta also pointed out, is something called the SMA, uh, uh, SMA you know, accounts. Yeah, yeah, the SMA 4 and 2 accounts, yeah, which, are, yeah. which is like, uh, you know, the special mention accounts is what everybody is looking at. And, and my sense is that uh, SBI would probably also wanting to, you know, given the fact that the overhang of uh, merging the subsidiaries is around the corner. It's, it's just another nine months that it would have to start working towards that. It would be prudently cleaning up things faster. So there could be there could be some uh, uh, stretched kind of provisioning again happening in this quarter. But if the slippages are not adding up too significantly, mm -hmm. the street will not want to punish it. So I and, and the street probably is in a better mood to reward SBI since we've seen since the last quarter also. So so my sense is we will probably not see a howler like BOB. But uh, it would probably be slightly better than BNB in terms of the tolerance. Okay, all right. Ekta, back to you then. Sun Pharma also reporting. What should we be ready for? Well, you know, for Sun Pharma this time round, it is going to be a good quarter because of the U.S. business. Now, revenue is expected to grow around 20-odd percent, EBITDA up around 55.7 percent, margins of over 30 percent, and a profit of around 1,894 crores. Reason why is because of uh, the cancer drug Levic generic, which they have had exclusivity on from Feb and ended in July, which is going to boost up the entire U.S. business. So the entire U.S. business could come in at uh, around $600 million in terms of sales, and that would compare to around $584 million on a sequential basis. Within this, around $140 million of sales will come in from Levic generic itself, giving you a sense in terms of the amount of contribution we'll see from that particular drug. For the India business, um, the estimates which before all of the numbers came out was anywhere between 10 to 15 odd percent. But that's going to get scaled down because of ev every other company that's reported single digit domestic growth this time round, simply because of the NLEM as well as uncertainty over FTC. So Sun Pharma is not going to be too far away from those concerns as well. So overall, it is going to be the US business which is going to drive numbers. Commentary on Halol will be the most important thing and also probably the most market-moving thing to watch out for, along with U.S. pricing pressure.
Thanks very much for that, uh, Ekta. So, Prakash, it's not just Sun. I mean, there's also Hindalco, there's Bosch, there's Jet. I mean, it's, it's the big fat Friday, yeah. right? So, which are the most important numbers that you're watching out for? No, I think Sun is going to be critical mm -hmm. because it's one of the largest in the pharma space. So, what we've seen happen to Lupin, uh, and then uh, just to point out, you know, what Glumetza did to Lupin, Glimwek could probably, you know, make uh, things worse for uh, Sun if the pricing pressure is already built in there. If it doesn't happen this quarter, it will happen next quarter. So, the point is that people might see an exit opportunity if things go off well, which which is what is likely from numbers. Uh, the other important thing is jet airways because that also sets the tone of cleaning up the aviation pack. We, we've had a full one year of uh, recovery in jet. Mm. This will probably be the beginning of a new year of recovery with, with uh, improved profitability. And if they can reduce debt beyond that 700 crores, which they did last time around, it, it, it will accelerate the process of deleveraging, which, which is going to re-rate the stock. And crude remaining where it is, I think it will stand out. It's moved much better than spike and interglobe in the last few weeks and I think uh, that that uh, the numbers could propel it further and the differential between them and the jet and the other players could probably increase.